All right, I gotta just tell you this. I have this bag right here that contains the brand new steak and potato burrito from Moe's, but I'm just gonna tell you this. I wish I had a scale because I'm pretty sure with the burrito and the uh, huge amount of the free, always stress it, free tortilla chips, this bag weighs like 786 pounds. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So do you want to see what's in the bag? I'm not even going to touch it. Oh, my goodness. They never disappoint. Shout out Charlie and the crew. They never disappoint. That is a steak and potato burrito on top of about 700 pounds of free tortilla chips and some salsa we have uh one salsa we have some uh kaiser salsa kaiser sose salsa uh salsa no well like in that. Salsa. salsa all right so taking out all of these uh Excuse bad boys right salsa? here we need more Ooh. salsa Where's all right the salsa? so let's no get salsa. the uh star of the show whoa this, this thing is so heavy and we have the uh chips right here so this right here is brand new from the folks over at Moe's Southwest Grill. This is a burrito. I know you know what a burrito looks like. I'm not Justin Bieber or a Justin Bieber lookalike, and I'm not going to eat it right from the center. That is uh, sacrilegious, and I am not going to do it. But what we have here, I believe that is steak, or it just means special. This is going to be special. So yes, they actually just brought out the steak and potato burrito. So instead of rice, you're not getting rice in this burrito. You're getting a layer of uh, potatoes, then the steak, and then it comes with, the normal build comes with a uh, queso, cheese, and bacon. Mm perfect combination. I actually had them add a little bit of Southwest Ranch on the top and then like Moe's always does, 100% free grilled vegetables. So I got those on there, mushrooms, onions, and peppers. So that's what we got here. I've talked enough. Let's check this bad boy out. Here we go. All right, before I cut into this, check this thing out. This is packed. This thing, like I said, weighs probably like five pounds. I'm all about it. Now let's get into it. All right, check that out. That is Instagram worthy. And I can't believe I forgot to mention bacon. Or did I mention bacon? I'm so confused, but this does have bacon in it as well. Look at that. That is an Instagram worthy uh, cross section of a burrito, steak and a potato. Let's go, Moe's. This was $9.99 and it is packed. They got so much filling on the inside. So here we go. We're not going to waste any more time. The brand new steak and potatoes, little steak and potato meal from uh, Moe's. Let's go. Ooh. Mm. Whoa. All right, so listen. This is unorthodox. It reminds me of a breakfast burrito minus the egg because you have basically home fries going on in here. But here's the thing. When you're going to make something like this and step outside of the box, you got to make sure that that ingredient that is different stands out. And the flavor of those uh, potatoes, I'm going to want to call them uh, home fries, but the flavor of those potatoes and the texture is something I've never had in a burrito before. I've had my fair share of breakfast burritos, but this with the steak and everything else just mixing together, I keep showing it to you because those flavors just kind of popped everywhere. They're like steak, they're like sour cream. Then I got the bacon, and then at the end, I had like three or four of those potatoes and it had a nice little spice to them and the texture was perfect. So uh, second bite, I am really enjoying this. I was skeptical. I'm like, okay, they're going for like a breakfast uh, burrito, but where's the egg? Uh, but I get it now. I get it. Someone in the test kitchen at Moe's is probably smarter than me because this works. And uh, I'm not going to lie, me putting the vegetables in here because they're free, Moe's style, uh, was a definite added bonus too. So second bite. All right, so listen, 
Ah, uh, wow. Am I missing the rice? I mean, the right side of my brain is saying you're missing the rice. The left side of the brain is saying you're crazy. You want to fight. I'll meet you out in back of Moe's at around uh, 330. We'll go at it. Um, but no, I don't believe I'm missing the rice. I'm not 100% sure I would get this every single time. I might try it one or two more times before it goes bye-bye, probably in about a month. But uh, let me give you one more look at it. And they made this perfectly $10. And I'm probably only going to eat half of this. I'm going to have to save the other half. I will definitely eat that later. I am glossing over the steak. The steak is tender. Oh, and it has such a really nice flavor. Uh, whoa, it doesn't want to come out. It does not want to come out of the burrito. Check out. I don't know. I'm holding up a piece of steak rookie move. All right. Let me take another bite. And then we're going to give this a rating. But I am a real big fan this has just gone off the rails right now. I'm so excited. But, um, yeah, well, did I taste a little lime? Are you putting a little lime in your coconut? A lime in your steak? Uh, one more bite. Oh, hold up. Hold down. Hold the foam. That steak is so good. That flavoring of the steak is so good. I don't think I've ever taken a step back to actually try the steak by itself whenever I'm eating Moe's uh, when I'm not doing a review. But that steak was legit and mixing with everything else going on here. This is not a paid endorsement, but uh, I am really enjoying the uh, combo of this uh, burrito right now. So last bite. Mm. 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 Hold, please. All right, so let me just say this. I'm going to give this a rating right now because I cannot wait to finish the rest of this burrito. And that does not happen too often where something works as well as all of this has worked for me. But uh, let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the steak and potato burrito from Moe's a rating of... Wow. I'm giving this a 95. I am giving a burrito from Moe's a 95. There are other places out there that do it. We know it. And uh, there's something about this one. I don't know why I carried the psalm. There is something about this one that is just working on all levels for me in the flavor department. And uh, I think I glossed over that third bite. Uh, bacon. Bacon all up in this piece. Um, okay, let's just, am I, did I even rate this? I didn't rate this. Did I bow my head? I don't know what's happening right now. And I'm playing patty cake. What is happening? All right, I'm going to give that a rating of, wait, what? I already rated it a 95. Okay, if this doesn't just uh, seal the deal for you, I mean, if you like potatoes and you like steak, you're going to like this. Does it get any more uh, simple than that? You know, no brainer. So, uh. Wow, this review just kind of went like this, tick, 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 boom, and just crashed. And now I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring it back. I'm a professional. Uh, so yeah, there you go, another video in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, I'm not saying anymore. I've said enough. I'm all over the place. I'm tongue-tied, and I want to finish this burrito. Bye. All right, bonus footage. I do love myself some Kaiser Sosa, Salsa, Kaiser Sosa Salsa, whatever the case. Uh, but this is so good by itself with everything going on here. I'm not doing the dip. I'm not doing the pour. Nothing's going to be added to this. I am doing it uh, the way it comes. So there you go.